Hello and welcome to episode 19 of the Game Dev Tutorials. Today we'll be doing a basic main menu. Um, for that, our steps are going to be to add a game state variable, and it's an int, to globals. Um, and that'll control the uh, game state of the main area. Um, like main, like, like this kind of main. Um, okay. And then uh, we'll create a main menu class. We will pass delegates into the main menu class. Uh, one delegate for changing the game state and one for uh, exiting the game. You could do those at the same time, um, but I found it a little easier to read it this way. Uh, we will add code for exiting the game. Um, so I guess that's kind of a nice thing to know. It's just a w little one-liner. But um, I should mention that if you uh, use the code I'm going to give you from debug mode, um, sometimes it causes a crash, but it doesn't when the game is live when you're using the the release version um, outside of the editor. So basically, um, running the exe, it it is the correct code. Um, it the other code that doesn't crash in your uh, editor or from debug mode in your editor uh, doesn't work on Windows 10. Um, so that kind of sucks, but. The code I will give you works everywhere that I've found to test it, so I'll give you that. And then uh, add code for backspace to return from the game to the main menu. So when you're playing, um, we'll just add some code, whereas if you push back play, backspace, it'll, it'll take you back to the main menu and restart the game. Um, so pretty simple stuff there. Uh, this. Uh, is basically a placeholder for you putting in a, a, a back menu or whatnot, um, which we'll probably end up doing in a future video. But to keep this shorter, we're gonna stick with this. All right. So uh, first things first, we do have a quick cleanup to do. Uh, we need these includes in main, otherwise uh, something won't work. The, the exit won't work. Um, so that's that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump in and inside gameplay, not world, um, we're going to add new item. We're going to add main menu. Okay. Remove off the namespaces. Add the includes, public, we're going to come down here, we're going to say uh, public main menu, Oops. Uh, public virtual void update, public virtual void draw. <laughs> Okay, um, so what we need in main menu is uh, two delegates and a background and a list of buttons. So that's essentially what we're dealing with here. So to get the background, let's do public uh, basic 2D BKG. We're going to have public pass object, uh, play, click, del, and exit, click, del. Now you don't have to put click in there, I mean you can name them whatever you want, but um, exit del would be fine, play del would be fine, but I try to be descriptive, um, and so that's what I have there. So uh, pass object, play, click, del and pass object exit click del okay so we got those uh, those are gonna pass in here um, from main when we're ready um, play click del equals play click del and then exit click del equals exit del Oop, nope all caps Okay, our, um, oh, we also need our list. I should have put that in first. Public list, 
button 2D from our last thing. That's why we had to do the button tutorial. Um, buttons equals new list button 2D. Okay, so we got that. That's all in. Um, and then, yeah, um, update doesn't need any variables. Um, we're going to have to loop to update our buttons, so let's do that. I is less than buttons count. We'll need the exact same loop in draw. Buttons I dot update and then new vector two. Um, I guess I should quickly show the wonderful main menu that I made. So we're gonna put the buttons here. Um, <laughs> uh, obviously, this is quick temp art. You know, you guys need to make your own splash screens. Um, I'm not uh, not the artist, so. Um, just wrote that down, want a title on there, some kind of design, and then an area for your buttons. Um, and that's what we have here, so as simple as we can be. And then I'll also put these in right now while I'm at it. So, um, UI folder, inside the UI folder. Whoops, that's not what I want. Add folder, um, backgrounds, and then uh, this I will provide, obviously, as I always do. But I would kind of recommend you guys go make your own um, on that one. And then um, got that. We need to add it up here. We'll get to that in just a second. But um, let's see, where are those buttons going to go? So. Here in Photoshop, maybe you don't know this, but you can have this little info chart, and right here it tells you the XY of your cursor. So if I want my first button to be right there, um, oh, you know what though? I'm shrinking it from 1080p, so that actually doesn't work. But it's about what is that? 20% less, 16% less. So maybe like 340. I don't know. That's my best guess, real quick. So 340x and 600y. Let's try that. So um, let's see, x was 340 and y is 600. Oh, nope, that's 500. 600. Um, and then we want the buttons to go down. So we need to add the y for every i. So uh, the buttons are 32s tall so maybe 45 times I and this should be a plus not a times right here whoops take the insert off plus um, so for every I it's gonna go down 45 that's all that's saying um, very simple stuff let's just copy paste that here um, and then take change it to draw and then in here we're gonna say uh, BKG equals new basic 2D um, and then this is our background so it's this wonderful bit here which is uh, 2D misc um, UI backgrounds um, main menu bkg okay so that'll be that and then um, we need vector two new vector two so this is the position we want to center it on the screen so globals dot screen width over two globals dot screen height over two and then the width and height is the full bit here and then just remove this one here. Okay, so that is our background. Um, we need to make sure we draw that first. So, bkg dot draw, and then it's just an empty set. Uh, vector two, zero. There we go. 
Okay, got that one. Now we are going to have uh, uh, some buttons. So buttons dot add. Whoops. And then in here we got new button two D. And then uh, we have our wonderful button. I think it's 2D misc simple BTN. All right, misc yeah simple BTN. Okay. All right. Um, new vector two. New vector two. And then our font, which is fonts Arial 16. And then this will be our play button. So play, play, click. C -L -I -C -K. Yeah, duh. There it is. I don't know why I didn't see it. Null. And then here we're just going to have a zero, zero so that we can pass in here to get our movement. And then here we're going to use the size of the button, which was 9632. 96 by 32. Let me just copy that. You probably could have copied this from somewhere else, but I figured I'd type it out again just for those that didn't do the last episode. Okay, and then we'll just change that to exit and this to exit play Dell. Okay, exit click Dell. I'm sorry. All right, um, that's that. Those will call them. We jump into main. Um, we need a main menu. Okay, we need, um, you know what, we need the, the global for this next bit. So in globals, which is here, um, we need to add game state. Uh, you could have this bool uh, just in your, um, main, your min, main function if you chose to. Um, in this case, we're just going to do it this way. We're gonna set equals zero first, which is always your main menu, or at least that is for me, always my main menu, I should say. You can choose whatever numbers you want, um, but yeah. Um, cool. Now, we want to um, distinguish between gameplay and main menu, and the way we're gonna do that is to say, if globals dot uh, game state equals zero, then main menu dot update. Else, if and then game state equals one. Okay, and then you can grab this. And you can put it in here and just change out the draws. And we're good on that part. All right. Um, now, uh, we need to uh, initialize it, which will be right here. Main menu equals new main menu. And then we got to pass in two functions, which we don't have yet. So let's come down here uh, between update and draw. And then let's say um, public virtual void change game state. And that one has to have object info in it. And then uh, here we're going to say globals dot game state equals. And then uh, in world we have the code to convert. Uh, nope, not in here. Maybe in user, yeah, user player definition. Okay, and our convert code is right here. So let's take our convert code. Hmm, I need that print as well. Okay, take that. We'll come over back into main, paste it here, 
But instead of converting this, we are going to convert info. And that will, whatever you pass in here, it'll put it into that int. If it's not an int, it's going to break, so don't do that. Um, and then the other thing we're going to do is public virtual void exit game. Again, object info. Okay. All right. Um, and then here, I am going to put copy paste this just because I don't know that I've ever typed this out in my life. But it is system.environment.exit0. Um, there are, I mentioned there were two. There's like five ways to close your game. Um, and each one has an upside and a downside. Um, not all of them call your dispose function. So that's kind of a problem. Um, and uh, this one is the only one that I found that runs on every version of Windows. So keep that in mind. There are other ones if you like other ones better for whatever reasons there are reasons to use the other ones um, go right ahead this is the one I'm currently using and it gives me the least trouble with uh, all the different setups um, of people that play my games so anyway use that one or figure out which one you like better um, but this this will work so system environment exit zero um, that's what they are so now we have our, our uh, main menu is complaining we need change game state and exit uh, game I would have thought that would have came up earlier but alright there's that so we have all that then you click the buttons in here and they send it out to here which can change your state and if it changes sorry out to here and then it can change your state when it changes your state it changes your draw uh, and your update to which one's correct so if we click play um oh something I didn't do there. Ah, da, 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 da. So here instead of null on here you need to pass in one. I'm sorry. I'm so used to typing null. I don't always remember to put the object in. Okay, so that will pass the one that turns the game state to one and gets everything going. The last thing we want to do today is um get our uh get our uh, backspace uh, uh, exiting the game. So in world, let's find it right, this stuff, right? Um, so let's just grab this, paste it above or below, doesn't matter, wherever you want. Back, and then we are gonna reset the world All right, Gardner showed up. Sorry, I had to uh, cut real fast and come back. All right, um, what we want to do is we want to pass in another uh, pass object um, for game uh, state or change game state. That's like this. Okay, and then change game state here. Change game state equals change game state. Cool. Um, and then here we are gonna take this and come down into that update function here, and we are gonna change game state to zero. Okay. Um, so that will change it back when you push the back button. Um, and then we need to, because that's gonna break now. There we go, and that will go to change. Okay, we gotta pass it in here too. So here, um, pass object, change game state. Cool. Okay, and then we need it here. So pass object, change game state. So if you notice, it takes a lot of passing of these objects to get them through places. Um, that's why oftentimes, because of ease of use and laziness, um, to be honest, 
uh, I use the globals for so many things like so if you look at our globals real fast um, game globals you have one two three four five um, that we would have to pass throughout a lot of our program units would need all five you know um, buildings probably need all five so on and so forth um, actually buildings don't but don't need this one but all of these probably do and so all of a sudden your your uh, parameters are just all pass objects or like half pass objects and then it starts to extend really far and becomes more and more difficult to read that's why I started using them using the game the the globals for some of those these I'm only gonna have to pass in two different times so it's worth it to do it this way but I just wanted to call an example of that out for you guys. Uh, I mentioned it before, but I wanted you guys to see kind of and, and focus on that for one second. And that will uh, give you some idea of why I do what I do. Um, I, I'm not, by no means claiming that I know best on that. It's just how it's easiest for me. Make sure you get your ga uh, change game state in there. And now we should have a working program provided we didn't break everything. So. Let's uh, get this loading. And apparently that's. Oh, because I have MISC on there. Do, 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 do. It's not in MISC, it's in UI. Let's try that again. And we have a breakpoint for some reason. Alright, here we go. So we have that. We have our buttons, they're working. We hit play. no go so let's figure out what's going on here um, all this looks correct I wonder if we didn't quite get something right in button um, let's see button 2d Some info, info. Oh, we don't set info. All right, so this is an addendum for a previous uh, video. You need that for this to work. Um, okay, let's uh, restart it. See what happens. Ah, I keep accidentally clicking breakpoints. All right, let's try this again. Play. All right, we're in. We're working. Cool. We're going to push backspace. Change game state is blank. Did I not set that? I set it here. I didn't. Did I not reset it in gameplay? Okay. This here is out of order. Oops. All right. Um. Let's try that. Back to breakpoints. There we go. Play. Back. Play. Back. Notice our buttons are not perfectly aligned. Uh, probably need to move them over like 15. So, main menu. I did the best guess I could. Let's go to 25. Run this again. That's centered enough for me for right now. And then exit, this should crash. Oh, see, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I don't know what causes it to or to not to crash, but um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. All right, guys, that is the tutorial. We now have a main menu. Um, pull it back up so that it's here. Um, you can go forwards and backwards in the stack, and you can get the game going and reset the game. Um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure you hit that like button. Let everybody else know that you liked it. Um, if you are enjoying this series, please make sure you subscribe so you can see the new videos come out. Please consider Patreon um, so that I can do more with this uh, with this video setup. And then, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are, are learning something. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you ask me. I'm happy to respond. I think I've responded to every comment that's been posted so far, and I, I will try to continue to do so. Um, past that, uh, I will try to get another one out this week. All right. Talk to you guys later.